Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are using chain rule to find the partial derivatives. Okay, so here we are given these three functions and we are asked to find the derivative of z with respect to x and derivative of z with respect to y. So here we have this function. So first of all, we have to make a tree diagram to do this. And this is how you do the tree diagram. Okay, and it's really important to do the tree diagram because it will help us uh, in solving it. And also, um, when I was doing uh, this and I had an exam question for both like 10 points to just uh, draw the tree diagram. So so it's really important to, uh, to know that how to draw the tree diagram. Okay, so the first step here is uh, you see the first function, right? Z here. So z is equals to e to the u v square. So this function is in two variables function. Okay, you see u and v. So it's a, uh, so you write the z at the top here and then you write u and v because this function is a two variables function. And then, then this u and do u is one variable function x. Okay, so u is a function of x and then v v is a function of x and y both okay so v is a function of x and v is a function of y as well okay so i hope you got how to draw the tree diagram so let me explain once again so first you start with the first function that you have z so you write z at the top and you see how many variables does this have so it has two variables u and v so you write uh, so you make branches and then you'll do u and v and then you see uh, u and v are a function of what variable? So u is a function of s, x, so you write here, and v is a function of x and y, so v is a function of s and v is a function of y. Okay, so I hope you got it how to do the tree diagram. So let's move on and find the derivative of z with respect to x. Okay, so we are calculating the derivative of z with respect to x, the partial derivative of z with respect to x. Okay, um, my my d for the partial derivatives looks like a u so let me fix it <laughs> okay so now let's find this derivative okay and uh, we are finding with respect to x right so first uh, you have to see uh, in this tree branches where do you see the uh, derivative of z with respect to x so here if you go like this so then you can find z with respect to x right but here as well you see x so if you go in this branch then you can find that as well so you can find it like this and you can find it like this as well um like this as well right so if you go like this and like this then you will find the derivative of z with respect to x okay so this is what we have to do so first we will write this so this is derivative of z with respect to u and then this is derivative of u with respect to x. So the first thing that you have, the first function goes at the top and the second one at the bottom. So here is derivative of u with respect to x and this is derivative of z with respect to v and here this is derivative of u, uh, derivative of v with respect to y and here you have probably guessed it by now derivative of v with respect to x right okay so now we can solve for the derivative with respect to x so first we go in this direction like i said before so if we go in this direction so uh we are multiplying these two together okay so we have to multiply this times this okay so we have to write derivative of z with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x derivative of u with respect to x and we're not done yet because there is a z in here as well so we have to go through this branch as well okay so we write a plus every time we go to the other branch we write a plus okay we are done with this branch if we're within this branch so we multiply but every time we go on to the other branch we have to add it okay so now we are writing about this branch okay about this one okay so we are writing derivative of z with respect to v times derivative of v with respect to x 
Okay, so let me write that derivative of z with respect to v times derivative of v with respect to x. Okay, so this is the formula that we have just created that will help us calculate for derivative of z with respect to x. Okay, so the first step in here is to find derivative of z with respect to u. Okay, so let's find this piece. Okay, so this is the z function and we're differentiating with respect to u. So that means we're only differentiating u and v is constant, okay? So e to the x, the derivative either is e to the x, so just like that. So e to the u of v squared is the same thing, but here it's, it's, it's an inside function. So you have to multiply by the partial derivative of the inside function as well. So the derivative of this inside function, the derivative of u is simply u and v squared stays as it is because it's a constant. And I can write it neatly like v squared e to the power of u v squared. Okay. Now let's move on and find derivative of u with respect to x. So derivative of u with respect to x. So now we are differentiating the u with respect to x. Okay, so x, so 3x squared. And then we have to find the derivative of z with respect to v. So, oops, let me scroll down. So derivative of z with respect to v. And where is the derivative of z? So this is the function we are differentiating, but this time with respect to v. Okay, so just like that, we, this stays the same, and then times the inside function, but the partial derivative. And we are differentiating u this time, so or v this time, so u, v, ln u, because it's a constant. And then writing it all together, u, v, u, e to the power of u, v squared. Okay, now we are, I think it would be better if I simply highlight them, you know, so it's easier for us to know that this is the answer. Okay, and we are left with now derivative of v with respect to x. Okay, derivative of v with respect to x. So we are looking at the v function here and differentiating this with respect to x so differentiating only x so this is a constant it goes to zero and derivative of v is one so the derivative of this is simply one okay so now that we have all the pieces here now the next step is just to uh, put these pieces into this formula okay oh uh, wait do i have everything Yes, I do have everything. <laughs> okay, so now uh, we have this, which is this, okay? So first we are going to write this. V squared, okay, wait. Let me write it like this. Okay, so derivative of z with respect to x that we were solving for. So the answer to this is simply derivative of z with respect to u, which we just calculated over here. So v squared e to the u, v v squared times we are multiplying it right with this u and x so this we just found it 3x squared so 3x squared and then plus so we're writing a plus over here okay and then it's a uh, derivative of z with respect to v so which is this one so u v 2 v u e u v squared and then this times v x okay so v x is one so times one now writing this all together gives um three x squared v squared e to the u v squared and then plus two v u e to the u v squared and this is the answer to derivative of z with respect to x. Okay, so now we are finding derivative of uh, x with respect to y this time. So we just found this and now we have to find this. And to find this, first what do we do? We look at our tree diagram, right? So now we are 
finding the z with respect to y so here in this branch do you see y you don't see y right so y you see over here so it's only once this time so it's only one branch so you, you're not going to add anything here you uh, before when you're finding derivative of z with respect to x you had like two branches with the x that's why you you did first this one and then this one but here there's only uh z and y uh you have z at the top and y at the bottom only once so that's why you're taking only this batch okay and now you already calculate derivative of z with respect to v this thing and this relationship is derivative of v with respect to y so now uh, you're just going to multiply them right because i said like i said before you when you are finding within the uh, same branch so you're going to multiply them right so derivative of z with respect to v times derivative of v with respect to y so this is the formula for the second one okay so um now uh, let's see do we already have derivative of z with respect to v derivative of z with respect to v we already calculated over here so i can just write it at the top so that's going to be u v u e to the u v squared okay and now i have derivative of v with respect to y so derivative of v with respect to y we didn't calculate it so we can calculate it over here derivative of v with respect to y this this time okay so v with respect to y so we're differentiating y only so uh, x is a constant this goes to zero and then bring the two down so that is going to be negative 2y okay so negative 2y that's the derivative of it okay so i can write it over here negative 2y and then multiply this all together gives negative 4y v u e to the u v squared and this is it the answer for derivative of z with respect to y so i hope it was clear if anything is not clear let me know in the comments and i will be really happy to answer your questions and thanks for watching please subscribe bye